I know it sounds like complete crap, but you can actually take antibodies. You can, you can consume antibodies in a supplement form. It is 100% real. It is 100% effective. And it is arguably the best thing you can do to soak up all the crap that's floating around in your system. So uh, why? Why would anti oral antibodies be uh, the best way to soak up the stuff in your system? Well, because your body's already doing it. Your body already produces antibodies and antibodies already seek out. They know the difference between good and bad and they go out and they seek out all the bad things you don't want and they bind to them and they make them inactive so that the body can then get rid of it, okay? So what bad things could you possibly have in your digestive system that, that antibodies would bind to and make inactive so your body can get rid of it? Well, H. pylori, E. coli, Klebsiella, Candida, uh, pick, pick anything actually. Anything that your body is a foreign invader to your system or that is something in an overgrowth mode that your body doesn't want it, the antibodies will bind to that and get rid of it. Okay, so antibodies are also called immunoglobulins. So the supplement name for immunoglobulins or antibodies is called serum-derived bovine immunoglobulins. Be mindful. A lot of people say, oh, they don't, they don't survive. They 100% survive digestion. They completely survive digestion. But, be, but once again, be mindful. M mother's breast milk, one of the benefits of a mother's, mother's breast milk in a baby is the immunoglobulins, okay? And uh, a lot of people really like colostrum. Colostrum's super popular. Uh, guess what one of the main benefits of colostrum is? It has immunoglobulins. And those immunoglobulins survive digestion, and they're very, very good at going in and cleaning up the gut. Uh, colostrum also uh, offers uh, other nutrient benefits, so I think colostrum's probably really good. But why would you just take a immunoglobulin concentrate instead of colostrum? Well, it has about three times more uh, immunoglobulins or antibodies in it than colostrum does. <clears throat> so by just taking a concentrate of uh, immunoglobulins, you're just getting more of it. You're getting a bigger bang for your buck. You're getting you're getting more of it. So antibodies or immunoglobulins use something called steric exclusion or immune exclusion to clean up the system. Um, that's how these antibodies work. That's, it's just a binding and inactivating process. So let's 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 apply it to your your life. Okay. <clears throat> Let's say you're doing a gut cleanup. <clears throat> a lot of people are using herbs like oregano or they're, they're like probiotics or whatever. So for all natural products, I'm going to use the terminology smash and grab. Um, so oregano and stuff like that that have antifungal, antibacterial uh, uh, qualities to them that go in and let's say agitate uh, um, pathogens in the system. So by doing that, by combining... Uh, antibodies or immunoglobulins with the oregano or whatever you're taking, you're effectively doing a smash and grab. You're, you're, um, you're irritating the hell out of something that's a problem in your system. It's making it super unfriendly. It's, it's making the situation super uh, unfriendly for that pathogen toxin. And then the immunoglobulins come in, bind to it, and then activate it so that the body can process it through. Okay. How does it work with probiotics? Well, um, if you are taking strains such as S. Bilardi and Bacillus subtilis that have competitive exclusive qualities, the probiotics go into the system and they don't play friendly with pathogens. They're great with good things and they hate bad things. So they get into an environment, uh, these, uh, these uh, probiotics, whether they're yeast or bacteria, they, they get into an environment with pathogens and they they compete, they actively compete against them. And so they end up having a push-pull dynamic where the probiotics uh, drive, like push really hard on the pathogens and then the, um, then the immunoglobulins soak them up. So are immunoglobulins 100% uh, uh, beneficial to take uh, with probiotics? Yes, are they amazing, like super good to take with your antimicrobial, antibacterial, antifungal herbs and whatnot? Yes, <clears throat> completely. For those of you that are uh, super inclined to do the uh, antibiotics, uh, I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to suggest it has a kill capture model, which means the antibiotics are killing stuff, <clears throat> and then the um, and when like you kill a gram negative bacteria, it releases something called LPS, lipopolysaccharides, and if that if you get a high abundance of lipopolysaccharides and you've got uh, a lot of permeability in your gut barrier, and that goes into your system, you're going to feel uncomfortable. So LPS is obviously a toxin, 
and immunoglobulins bind to LPS. So uh, is it a good idea, in my opinion, obviously talk to your doctors. Uh, would it be something to suggest to your doctor if you are taking uh, antibiotics? Would you take the immunoglobulins with the antibiotics? I, I would say yes, but obviously I have to tell you to talk to your doctor about it. But that, would, that may be very, very effective, okay? All right, so what do we like? Well, we've been doing gut health for a long time, and we've been researching gut health a long time. <clears throat> we take immunoglobulins, um, which is available in our cleanse product. Um, we take the cleanse product and we pair it with an ingredient called Frequency Activated Nano AG404 that is available in our Nano Scrub product. And we believe this is the most effective way to have a, we're gonna once again go back to the smash and grab concept of smash and grab of, of all the bad things in your system, okay? Wherein the frequency activated uh, AG404, which is effective, safe, all researched effective and safe, um, is super safe and effective and also exits the body quickly, um, would go in and it would engage <clears throat> pathogens and toxins and it would, uh, I'm gonna use the word, the, the, the wording of unravels them or, or, or maybe pops their bubble, uh, biofilm and stuff, and allows them to unravel. And in that unraveling process, it makes a really good environment for the immunoglobulins to bind to them to make it inactive and to help it exit the body. Okay, so in that case, uh, you have a bad, say, bad uh, bacteria, gram-negative bacteria. The nano scrub ingredient goes in, clicks it, uh, unravels the the bad uh, bacteria. The bacteria, bad bacteria, releases something like lipopolysaccharides (LPS), and the uh, immunoglobulins uh, or the cleanse ingredient goes in and binds to it um, and makes it inactive. Okay. So that is what we like. We find it to be super effective. We do that first, uh, and then later on in a process, <clears throat> after the nano scrub has had time to do its thing, then we pair the immunoglobulins with the probiotics that have the competitive exclusive, uh, the competitive uh, exclusive qualities, and that's a good combination. And so we do a aggressive cleanup, an aggressive, and then an aggressive buildup on the gut because. The best thing you can do, you can possibly do for your gut is once you've cleaned it up, you build it back up again because as, uh, I'm sure you've heard the, the concept of a really good uh, defense as, an, as a strong offense, right? So <clears throat> by building your gut back up again, it makes your gut a uh, inhospitable environment for pathogens. And that is the best place you can possibly be. So once you clean up the gut, you build it up again, okay? If you're interested in any of this stuff at all, uh, if you want to know our full combination of how we clean up the gut, in comments, uh, type in pathogen protocol. If you are in love with oregano and your own probiotic, whatever that is, and whatever else you're doing, whatever the hell that is, and you're just like, I may want to consider pairing it with the antibodies or the immunoglobulins so that you have a push-pull dynamic or a smash-and-grab relationship, um, or in some of your cases, you're antibiotics and you're going to take antibiotics and your doctor's recommended that, uh, you may want to consider, uh, suggest, uh, throwing out the immunoglobulins with the antibiotics, uh, to your doctor, of course, because I can only suggest that, but you have to ask them. Um, if you're interested in that, uh, type in antibody, uh, in comment below, and we will send you the link to the antibody or the immunoglobulin product. Okay. Hope this helps. Thanks.